Okay, so here is a Bradford White water heater that is about 12 years old, and this is a really good example uh, of thermal expansion. So I came out about uh, three months ago, and I told them that their water heater is probably going to start leaking pretty soon. And you can tell, especially at this level, that the top of the tank is just absolutely swollen. Uh, and that's kind of the first sign, especially on these Bradford White water heaters, that they're uh, about to go. So. Uh, you can also look at these supply lines here. Let me kind of get to a better angle. And you can see that they're kind of pointing toward each other. So that's the other thing that these Bradford White water heaters do. They kind of, uh, you know, tend to give at the top. And he actually used to have CPVC uh, for all the water lines, and he's recently replaced it with PEX, which uh, that's really good that he did that because when there's that much stress uh, on CPVC, it can snap and uh, could even flood your house. So there's a couple things that we're going to upgrade here with this water heater. The first will be to add an expansion tank. Uh, the second will be to eliminate this saddle valve that's in the humidifier, which zoom in, that is the saddle valve right there. And the third thing that doesn't need code uh, is the gas line coming in and you can see there's the shutoff valve and there's no uh, drip leg. In a drip leg, uh, you can see that there's one on the furnace right over here. Pardon the, the darkness here, but that's not a proper drip leg, but that that's the idea uh, of what a drip leg is and it's basically to keep condensation uh, out of the gas line or out of, out of the appliance uh, that can build into the gas line. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on this one. 